So a lot of you guys were wondering how I was able to even out my eyelid without surgery. And so far, I have this great technique to show you that I actually learned from a friend of mine. And so far, it's permanent. It's hard for me to show you now because my eyelids are both even, but I'm gonna show you a before and after screenshot of my old eyelid with the incorrect fold and the new eyelid that I have with the correct fold. The answer is really, really simple, tape. There's two different types of tapes that you can use. There's eyelid tape, which I personally love to use, and then there's medical tape. What's really important is that you wanna get double-sided tape. The reason why double-sided tape works better is because number one, it's stronger. Number two, it holds on to the fold better. And number three, it's actually the only way I know this can work. You can either make your own eyelid tape, which personally, I haven't tried yet, but I know that it's really simple. And there's a lot of videos on YouTube where you can learn how to do it. And it's a great way to save money without spending too much money on the eyelid tape. Or number two, you can buy eyelid tapes. This is how this technique works. Basically, for three months straight, you have to wear your eyelid tape every day for 22 hours. I know it sounds like a long time, it's a huge commitment, believe me it really is, but let me tell you it's worth it because it works. If you don't have a store nearby that sells eyelid tape, I recommend going to this website called prettyandcute.com. It's actually my friend's website and she's actually the one that kind of told me about this technique. So I like buying double-sided double eyelid tape and here you can see it's right here. There's different brands and different kinds. Um, this isn't really my favorite one, but because I ran out of my favorite one, this is my second favorite one that I like to use. You wanna find a brand that uses medical grade tape. Medical grade tape will most likely not irritate your eyes and it's not gonna give you a rash or anything. So here's my double-sided eyelid tape. I like to use tweezers just because it's faster. I know that this isn't the proper way to peel off the tape. There's videos online where they can show you how to properly do it, but I find that it's faster and I'm really impatient. <laughs> Using a tweezer like this, a very, very, very skinny one that's used to probably tweeze your nose hairs. I know that sounds disgusting. In your tape, what you're gonna do is you're going to fold and peel this part off. You see how it's perforated so you can kind of peel it and peel the cover off and it's gonna reveal the double-sided tape. It's keeping everything clean. And take your tweezer, then peel your tape off like this. This is the tape, can you guys see it? It's very thin and it's double-sided. I like to hold it with the tweezer and not use my fingers because once you use your fingers, the oil will get on there and it's gonna start getting less sticky. The stickier, the better. It's better for the tape to be on naked skin, but I personally recommend getting the eyelid fork I, I don't know what this is called, but I'm calling it the eyelid fork. My old eyelid fold was right here. See? My new eyelid fold is right up there. Can you guys see it? A little bit. So take your fork and start probing around and find and locate your new eyelid fold. So this is actually where I would put it. But it's all, it's different for everyone else. Take your tape and put it on one side like this. Okay, this is, this is one way to do it, putting it on like this. And then taking your, your guy, pushing it in, and there you go. Another way to do it, and I know this is actually the way that they teach you how to do it. Have the tape on your fork like this, kind of, it's kind of folded a bit. Go in and find your crease again, and then push in, poke, keep poking it, and there you have it, your new fold. If you can't wear tape all day because maybe someone can see it or maybe you don't want people to see that you're wearing tape, I recommend then using glue. This is actually my favorite eyelid glue. It's called iTalk. I think it's a Japanese brand and it's amazing. There's a lot of video tutorials on how to use this. I'm just gonna pretend I want my fold to be up higher. Let's just say, just pretending. So there's my crease. So I'm gonna apply it up here. So now you just wanna wait for it to dry. You know that it's dry because what's gonna happen is that the glue will become clear and that's when you know it's nice and sticky. 
You guys can tell it's a little sticky. It's almost dry. All right, now it's dry because it's clear and it's invisible. Take your, your fork or your prong, your eyelid prong, sorry, I keep calling it fork, and push in and start jabbing your eyeballs out like a scary movie. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep jabbing it till now you have a new fold. To remove this, it's really simple. It's water soluble, so a little bit of water, just pat it on and then just peel it right off. Doing something like this takes a lot of dedication and a lot of patience. First off, you're gonna be wearing eyelid tape for three months straight, at least 22 hours a day. So try and avoid um, wearing heavy, heavy eye makeup. And eyeliner is fine, mascara is fine, but smoky eyes I would stay away from. Foundation on the eyes I would stay away from. I know it's a little tough, but trust me, it'll be worth it because after three months, most likely you'll see a difference. I mean, I can't promise you that this will work for everyone, but I know that it worked on me, it worked on my friends, and the person that recommended it to me, it worked on her too. I really recommend wearing thick frame glasses to distract people from seeing your eyelid tape. Heavy fake lashes, that's, that will also help distract people from seeing your eyelid tape. Other than that, I think it's okay if people see it, just tell them what you're doing. I, I think there's no shame in it. Because um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in this world with uneven eyelids. People have different eyelid shapes, has nothing to do with race. The reason why I wanted to even out my eyelid was because I was really tired of always having to draw one liquid liner thinner or thicker than the other one to even it out. So that's really why I wanted to do it. And there was a time where I actually thought about getting eyelid surgery because I thought that was the only way to correct it because I didn't know that there was a way to do it without surgery. I remember I researched a lot of different places that were offering eyelid surgery, and they're all telling me that they couldn't just do one, they had to do both. They basically had to do surgery on both my eyelids, which is why I didn't want to do it, because first off, I don't want to risk going under the knife and then something happening and my eyelids are both like messed up and jacked up looking. And also for me, I prefer non-invasive procedures. So anything that's not going to involve a knife, I'm totally up for doing. This technique, you can actually mess up your eyelid, meaning that if you do it wrong, you can actually make it look saggy. So again, please try this at your discretion. Again, also do more research. I know you guys just saw this video. I don't want anyone to go on and jump and buy eyelid tape and jab their eyes with their eyelid fork. I'm just showing you my technique that worked really, really well on me and I'm super happy with it. I really wish you guys a lot of luck on this because I know it's, it's really annoying to have uneven eyelids. I know I've had them for 25 years and I just now fixed them. So best of luck to you guys and let me know your progress. I really hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What are you doing? Of straight.